Welcome to the Stations of the Cross for St Mary's Church, Peterborough, led by Stuart and Elizabeth Pedley. Each image has been inspired by the wooden plaques in the church that we would normally use. Let's pray. Lord, we have come together to travel the way of the cross. Come close to us as we, as we reflect on our lives. Come close to us as we hear familiar stories. Come close to us so we may feel your presence day by day. Amen. Amen. Station 1. Jesus is condemned to death. I adore you, O Christ, and I bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A reading from Matthew 27 verses 20 to 26. Now the chief priests and the elders persuaded the crowds to ask for Barabbas and to have Jesus killed. The governor again said to them, Which of the two do you want me to release for you? And they said, Barabbas. Pilate said to them, Then what should I do with Jesus, who is called the Messiah? All of them said, Let him be crucified. Then he asked, Why? What evil has he done? But they shouted all the more, Let him be crucified. So, when Pilate saw that he could do nothing, but rather than a riot was beginning, he took some water and washed his hands before the crowd, saying, I am innocent of this man's blood. See to it yourselves. Then the people as a whole answered, His blood be on us and on our children. So he released Barabbas for them, and after flogging Jesus, he handed him over to be crucified. Lord, forgive me for the times that I have washed my hands of the situation. Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, forgive me for the times that I have taken the easy option. Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, for the times I have wriggled out of taking the blame. Lord, have mercy on me. I offer now to you the times when I have been let down by others. Lord Jesus Christ, who by your cross and passion have redeemed us. Save us and help us, we humbly beseech you, O Lord. Station number two, Jesus takes up his cross. I adore you, O Christ, and I bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A reading from Matthew, chapter 27, verses 27 to 31. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the governor's headquarters, and they gathered the whole cult around him. They stripped him and put a scarlet robe on him and after twisting some thorns into a crown they put it on his head. They put a reed in his right hand and knelt before him and mocked him saying Hail King of the Jews. They spat on him and took the reed and struck him on the head. After mocking him they stripped him of the robe and put his own clothes on him. Then they led him away to crucify him. Lord, forgive me for the times that I lash out at others when I am being verbally attacked. Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, for the times I make fun of others. Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, for the times I trample on others so as to get what I want. Lord, have mercy on me. I offer now you the times when I have been hurt by other people's words and actions. 
Heal the scars that I carry around with me from deep within. Lord Jesus Christ, who by your cross and passion have redeemed us. Save and help us, we humbly beseech you, O Lord. Station 3. Jesus falls for the first time. I adore you, O Christ, and I bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Reading from Hebrews 2, verses 17 and 18. Therefore, he had to become like his brothers and sisters in every respect, so that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest in the service of God, to make a sacrifice of atonement for the sins of the people because he himself was tested by what he suffered. He is able to help those who are being tested. Lord, for the times I have tested others to destruction. Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, for the times I have been tested and given in. Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, for the times that I have looked down on my brothers and sisters and felt superior. Lord, have mercy on me. I offer now to you the times when I have been tested and have been found wanting. Help me to follow your true example. Lord Jesus Christ, who by your cross and passion have redeemed us. Save and help us, we humbly beseech you, O Lord. Station number four, Jesus meets his mother. I adore you, O Christ, and I bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favour with God, and now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great, and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob for ever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Lord, for the times I have not honoured my mother and father. Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, for the times I have not followed your will, as Mary showed us. Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, for the times I have not humbled myself, as Mary did. Lord, have mercy on me. I offer now you the times when I have not recognised you as the Son of the Most High. Help me to welcome you into my life afresh this Lenten time. Lord Jesus Christ, who by your cross and passion have redeemed us. Save and help us, we humbly beseech you, O Lord. Station 5. Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus carry the cross. I adore you, O Christ, and I bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Matthew 27, verse 32. As they went out, they came upon a man from Cyrene named Simon. They compelled this man to carry his cross. Lord, for the times that I have failed to help those in need. Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, 
for the times that I look the other way and ignore the plight of others. Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, for the times that I hold on to your love and do not share it with others. Lord, have mercy on me. I offer now to you the times when I have kept you to myself. Lord, heal my lack of openness to others. Help me to make the first move to welcome others. Lord Jesus Christ, who by your cross and passion have redeemed us. Save and help us. We humbly beseech you, O Lord. Station 6. Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. I adore you, O Christ, and I bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A reading from Matthew, chapter 25, verses 35 to 40. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me. I was naked, and you gave me clothing. I was sick, and you took care of me. I was in prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when was it that we saw you hungry and gave you food, or thirsty and gave you something to drink? And when was it, when we saw you as a stranger and welcomed you, or naked and gave you clothing? And when was it we saw you sick or in prison and visited you? And the king will answer them, Truly I tell you, just as you did it to one of the least of these, who are members of my family, you did it to me. Lord, for the times that I ignore the pleas of others. Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, for the times that I do not hear you calling to me through prayer. Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, for the times that I only think of myself and no other. Lord, have mercy on me. I offer now to you the regrets that I have stored up within me, and the times I fail to do your will. Help me to be your hands of love in this world of despair. Lord Jesus Christ, who by your cross and passion have redeemed us. Save and help us, we humbly beseech you, O Lord. Station 7. Jesus falls for the second time. I adore you, O Christ, and I bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A reading from Isaiah 53, verses 5 and 6. But he was wounded for our transgressions, crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was the punishment that made us whole and by his bruises we are healed. All we, like sheep, have gone astray. We have all turned to our own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Lord, for the times that I have walked away from you. Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, for the times when my pride and self-will have been too strong. Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, for the times that I have pushed you to one side. Lord, have mercy on me. I offer now to you my pride and arrogance. Help me to be the person you wish me to be. Lord Jesus Christ, who by your cross and passion have redeemed us. Save and help us. We humbly beseech you, O Lord.
station number eight. Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. I adore you, O Christ, and I bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A reading from Luke chapter 23, verses 27 to 28. A great number of women people followed him, and among them were women who were beating their breasts and wailing for him. But Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. Lord, for the times I fail to comfort those in need. Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, for the times I am lacking in generosity. Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, for the times I do not listen to people. Lord, have mercy on me. I offer now to you each moment of my life where there has been a lack of love. Fill me with your love so I may share it with others. Lord Jesus Christ, who by your cross and passion have redeemed us, save and help us, we humbly beseech you, O Lord. Station 9. Jesus falls for the third time. I adore you, O Christ, and I bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A reading from 1 Peter 2, verses 22 to 24. He committed no sin, and no deceit was found in his mouth. When he was abused, he did not return abuse. When he suffered, he did not threaten, but he entrusted himself to the one who judges justly. He himself bore our sins in his body on the cross, so that, free from sins, we might live for righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed. Lord, for the times that I have argued wrongly with those around me. Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, for the times that I have lied to others to cover my own transgressions. Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, for the times that I have threatened others by abusing the power that I have. Lord, have mercy on me. I offer now to you the times when I have not followed your example. Transform me, Lord Jesus, so that I may reflect your glory to those around me. Lord Jesus Christ, who by your cross and passion have redeemed us. Save and help us, we humbly beseech you, O Lord. Station number 10. Jesus is stripped of his garments. I adore you, O Christ, and I bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A reading from John, chapter 19, verses 23 to 24. When the soldiers had crucified Jesus, they took his clothes and divided them into four parts one for each soldier. They also took his tunic. Now the tunic was seamless, woven in one piece from the top. So they said to one another, let's not tear it, but cast lots for it to see who will get it. This was to fulfill what the scripture says. They divided my clothes among themselves, and for my clothing they cast lots. Lord, for the times I have reaped rewards from ill-gotten gains. Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, for the times that greed and envy overpower me. Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, for the times I have exploited others for my own gain. Lord, have mercy on me. I offer now to you my selfishness and greed. Help me to be generous with what I have, and take only what I need. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who by your cross and passion have redeemed us. Save and help us, we humbly beseech you, O Lord. Station 11. Jesus is nailed to the cross. I adore you, O Christ, and I bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Reading from Luke 23, verses 33 to 34. When they came to the place that is called the skull, they crucified Jesus there with the criminals, one on his right and one on his left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. And they cast lots to divide his clothing. Lord, for my hardness of heart. Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, for the times that I condemn others. Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, for the lack of forgiveness in my heart. Lord, have mercy on me. I offer now to you the times when I vow never to forgive people's actions. Help me to deal with the hurt in my life so that the process of forgiveness may start. Lord Jesus Christ, who by your cross and passion have redeemed us. Save and help us, we humbly beseech you, O Lord. The Twelfth Station Jesus dies on the cross. I adore you, O Christ, and I bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A reading from Luke, chapter 23, verses 44 to 46. And now, it was now about noon, and darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon, while the sun's light failed and the curtain of the temple was torn in two. Then Jesus, crying aloud, said, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. Having said this, he breathed his last. Lord, for the times that I do things in my own strength and fail to invite you into the situation. Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, for the times that I fail to trust you. Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, for the times when I am not generous towards you. Lord, have mercy on me. I offer now you my life afresh. I give you my thoughts, my pains and worries. Lord, I place them into your hands. Lord Jesus Christ, who by your cross and passion have redeemed us. Save and help us, we humbly beseech you, O Lord. Station 13. Jesus is taken down from the cross. I adore you, O Christ, and I bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A reading from John 19, verse 38. After these things, Joseph of Amathea, who was a disciple of Jesus, though a secret one because of his fear of the Jews, asked Pilate to let him take away the body of Jesus. Pilate gave him permission, so he came and removed his body. Lord, for the times when I am fearful and do not turn to you. Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, for the times when I disown you for fear of ridicule. Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, for the times when I have held back from helping others. Lord, have mercy on me. I offer now to you my fearfulness of life. Help me to be strong by inviting your spirit into my life to support me and to guide me. Lord Jesus Christ, who by your cross and passion have redeemed us. 
Save and help us, we humbly beseech you, O Lord. Station 14. Jesus is laid in the tomb. I adore you, O Christ, and I bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. They took the body of Jesus and wrapped it with spices in linen cloths, according to the burial custom of the Jews. Now there was a garden in the place where he was crucified. And in the garden there was a new tomb in which no one had ever been laid. And so, because it was the Jewish day of preparation and the tomb was nearby, they laid Jesus there. Lord, for the times that I only see death in you and not new life. Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, for the times that I only see the end and not the new beginning. Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, for the times that I look on earthly things and not heavenly. Lord, have mercy on me. I offer now you my life. Guide me in the heavenly things of life and keep me safe from the earthly. May I live my life according to your will. Lord Jesus Christ, who by your cross and passion have redeemed us. Save and help us, we humbly beseech you, O Lord. Let's say the prayer together that Jesus himself taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. As we have travelled the way of the cross, let us now go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Amen.